Like Impressionist art, our earth cannot be fully appreciated except at a distance. Through satellite photography, we are able to predict our weather more accurately, to survey our global landscapes and seascapes more realistically. In fact, we are able more precisely to identify the minerals which lie beneath the earth by studying photographs taken from miles above pictures taken and sent back to us from orbiting satellites. But there is one satellite photograph in particular, it was taken in 1972, which continues to baffle scientists. The camera was pointed at a frigid, uninhabited region near the South Pole, a desolate terrain over which no human, as far as we know, has ever walked. And yet there it is, clearly depicted, a system of exactly aligned ridges, either an extraordinary geological coincidence, or as some have dared to guess, the ruins of a 200-million-year-old civilization. Originally, the photo was given to experts at the U.S. Geological Survey Center in Flagstaff, Arizona. What is this? NASA scientists wanted to know. Well, whatever it was, it looked like something people had done. More specifically, like a like an ancient snow-covered metropolis. So USGS investigators promptly nicknamed it Inca City. After the native South American Incas, whose sophisticated culture might have produced such a wonder. Dr. Harold Masursky of the USGS was especially fascinated by the geometric precision of whatever it is in the photo. Even in the most unusual geological formations, 90-degree angles are extremely rare, he reported. And remember, this is a region with no human history whatsoever, an area so cold and so barren of natural resources that it is difficult to imagine the survival of anyone or anything. Dr. Jim Cuffs of NASA whose orbiting satellite was responsible for the original aerial photo, joined USGS scientists in acknowledging the remote possibility of a long-ago South Pole civilization. The equally spaced three-mile-wide terraces of so-called Inca City have an eerie regularity about them, said Dr. Cuffs. Most geological features, he admitted, have a capricious character. But the features in the photograph are ordered, Studying the apparently intelligent design, Dr. Masursky of the USGS asked an even more daring question. If Inca City is comprised of man-made structures, he said, what, what men might have made it 200 million years ago? Now, as you may have guessed, the majority opinion among scientists is that the satellite photo depicts no more than an unusual natural geological phenomenon. Still, the photo has piqued enough interest, has stimulated enough conjecture among the experts to call for a special expedition to the site. Until then, we'll simply have to speculate as to whether Inca City is no more than a remarkable geological curiosity, or whether it is, in fact, an incredible monument left by a civilization of long ago in that region near the South Pole, on the planet Mars. Of course, there are no such things as Martians, you grew up hearing your parents say. Only now you know the rest of the story. <laughs>